In this lesson, we'll take a look at some uh, differentiation of exponential functions, and we'll use a lot of the uh, normal rules you differentiate with, uh, power rule, product rule, that kind of thing. Now, in the first example, we're asked to differentiate e to the 4x squared, and one of the characteristics of differentiating exponential functions is the original function is in the derivative. So f prime of x equals e to the 4x squared times, now the exponent is not just an x, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The exponent is a function of x, 4x squared, so we also multiply this by the derivative of that exponent. And of course that's 8x, so we would have e to the 4x squared times 8x. Now I prefer to write the 8x on the left here, so I'll write it as 8x e to the 4x squared. The reason for that is because if you aren't very careful how you write this down, for example, if you wrote e to the 4x squared and you didn't write the 8x like on the same horizontal level, let's say you wrote it like this. Somebody might think that it's supposed to be multiplied by this and that it should be uh, e to the 32x cubed. But the 8x is multiplied by the entire function of x, not just that 4x squared exponent. So this is a less ambiguous way to write it. In the b example, um, this is really a product. 3x to the 4th is one function, the e to the 2x is another. So I'm going to use product rule. So in product rule, you differentiate one of the functions. So I'm going to differentiate 3x to the 4th, which would be 12x cubed. That's the power rule. And we multiply that by the second function. And then you go plus the first function, the 3x to the 4th, times the derivative of e to the 2x. Well, the derivative of e to the 2x very similar to what we did over here. We'll have to have an e to the 2x in it. And then we would multiply by the derivative of the exponent, which of course is 2. And the only thing I would do to simplify this, uh, this first part's fine, but I would multiply that 2 by the 3x to the 4th and write that last part then as 6x to the 4th e to the 2x. And the 12x cubed e to the 2x is fine at the beginning. So that's the derivative of 3x to the 4th e to the 2x. In C, we're given y equals 3e e to the 2x times sine 3x, so it's another product. So using the product rule, the first part, I'm going to differentiate the 3e e to the 2x, which of course would be 3e e to the 2x times the derivative of the exponent. And of course the derivative of the 2x exponent would be a 2. So multiplying that 2 by the 3 is where I get the 6 and then e to the 2x. Times the second function, the sine 3x function. And then we go plus the first function, the 3e to the 2x, times the derivative of sine 3x. Well, the derivative of sine x is cos x, so the derivative of sine 3x would be cos 3x. And then we multiply that by the derivative of the 3x, which of course is 3. Now the first part is fine in the order and the fashion it's written, but I would uh, simplify this last part a little bit by multiplying the 3 by the 3e to the 2x to give you 9e to the 2x and then cos 3x.